All right, guys. Well, we are going to do something totally different today. There is no chance that you will ever, that you have ever seen this on my channel ever. Um, I am making shape charges, I guess you could call them, for my gasoline fireballs. So, I do it with an E-match. And just a disclaimer, if you are under 18 years old, stop watching this video. Unless your parents say it's okay. I am not teaching you how to do this. I am showing you how I prepare for my 4th of July celebration. What I do first is you make sure that that's twisted together so there's no chance static is going to set this E-match off. And then you saw me unravel it here. I go ahead and wrap it back up up here so you don't have to fight that whole thing coming undone. And then you have a scale it's zeroed out with a, a lift cup on it. I have some black powder. I need to figure out if I want to leave in the description what variation of powder this is. So what I do is I use 1.25 ounces per gallon of gas. Now, I'm gonna show you guys what these fireballs look like going off, but here is a two gallon uh, gasoline fireball tube. Those are made by a company. Here is one of my little one gallon uh, fireball tubes. And it just has a spike on the bottom, it sticks in the ground. We started experimenting, and then you're going to see videos at the end of this that show the fireballs going off. So I'm going to make I'm going to make some new ones that uh, they are going to be a gallon and a half. So 1.25 divided by two is 0.75 added to 1.25 is two ounces. So I need two ounces of of uh, powder. I take my E-match. Remember, I'm not teaching you guys how to do this. This is what I do. I was taught to do this by a pyrotechnician. Okay. I get all my powder in there. Really, I, he, I mean, you don't have to wear gloves. I don't like getting the powder on my hands either, but I can't, I can't work in gloves. But that's the main thing, and if you're clean about it, you really don't need to have gloves on. So, you need to get that E-match down into the powder well. He says put it down into the corner. I guess they feel like that works the best. And then, you need to get rid of that little, the bottom of the Christmas tree. But this needs to be tight. And then what you do is you keep running. You can actually pull some of this plastic off, which I'm gonna go ahead and do, get rid of some of your waste. That kind of smushed down. You wanted a, or I make it a flat charge. I use good electrical tape. I, you could probably use cheap electrical tape. You want to make this part pretty tight. You want to continually pull tension 
on this uh, electrical tape to make this charge tight. All right. Or again, this is what I do. Not training. I don't want. I don't want to train you guys because I don't want you to get hurt. This is just what I do. I don't want to get banned from YouTube for showing you guys this. So I am just sharing what I do. I'm pulling this tight as I wrap it. Now what the purpose of this is, is we need to make this charge waterproof. And there are certain reasons why you don't use duct tape and other forms of tape. Um, the person I was taught to do this is a trained pyrotechnician and they do an awful lot of gasoline fireballs on their shows. He said they've had the best luck with this. Now this thing is pretty tight. Hear that? You want it tight. What I do is I go 180 degrees off of this one. Okay? And then I use a different color tape so you can see where you're putting tape at. Does that make sense? Guess it doesn't have to because it's just what I do, right? Right. And again, I'm pulling this tape tight as I wrap it. See how you can see where you've been and where you haven't been with a different colored tape. That is a that is for a gallon and a half. Now what I'm going to do since I'm going to make a bunch of these, well, a bunch is six, uh, maybe eight. I'm going to mark on the end because I do have some two and a half, or I have some two gallons and I have a one gallon. I'm making some gallon and a halves just for no reason that the material plays out to where I can make gallon and a halves and I can get enough out of the eight foot piece of material that I found. But there's our charge. That's how I make a charge out of a cheap, you want the cheap sandwich bags, or I use the cheap sandwich bags. They work the best, actually. Um, a E-match, electrical tape of some color. You could do yellow and white. You could do red and white and blues. You could do whatever you wanted. I just so happen to have a lot of black and I have white and yellow. So, um, and actually, well, I guess I don't have enough white. I might have enough white to do all the gallon and a halves. I could color coat them, but that's a, that's a gallon and a half charge. That's two ounces of powder. I don't know what it ends up being after 
you make it 2.7 ounces. Um, anyways, and all, all I use is a food scale from in the house. A little bit of powder in there. Just get that out. Um, and let me let me talk to him. It's not illegal to have this powder. Um, you can buy it at a, a ammunition store or a gun store. This is a very expensive plastic bag. This is a anti-static bag. Um, he gave that to me to use to store my powder a lot safer. Um, and I'm working on, you know, a wood bench, trying to keep static down a little bit, but he assured me it wasn't a big deal. Um, anyways, if you guys want to see, actually, we'll just play. I've got some footage of us shooting off when he was training me how to make these. Um, we've got some footage of setting off some gasoline fireballs. Um, keep that kind of closed up. I'll show you guys here. We're just in my shop. So a couple of the cans we set off were in these. Those are two gallons. That's a gallon, and then that's about a two gallon. We call it the bazooka because when I, I carried it, I put it on my shoulder, I felt like I was carrying a bazooka. We actually had a one gallon can that we were using on the bottom, and then I had an extra piece of pipe, so I welded it, I welded the seam up and made it to where we could try a longer, taller tube than what these are. These are six inch pipe, eighth inch wall tubing. Um, mine are actually gonna be a little thicker um, because I'm actually using some uh, bollard material for like the concrete bollards out in the parking lot, you know, the steel pipes. Um, that's actually cheaper than buying eighth inch or, you know, yeah, eighth inch material right now. And it's probably about 3 16 thick, way overkill. But um, it is what it is. With the material shortages and everything else, it's actually cheaper to do that than anything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and build some more of these. I'm gonna build, I'm, I might just end up building all my gallon and a halves. And then if I end up not using the two gallons, then so be it. But I'll play the footage right now of us doing the fireballs during the day so you can see the smoke ring. We'll set the bazooka off and the little one gallons and all that. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, this is not a training video. I was just showing you me preparing for 4th of July. Do with it as you will. I'll talk to him about putting the, uh, the size of the gunpowder in there because you do have to have this gunpowder. It's very, very big and granular. You cannot use smaller gunpowder. Um, he advised me that it just would not work. It doesn't do well at all. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys later. Be safe. Thanks. Okay, well, I've got my charges made for my one and a half gallons that I'm going to make. I haven't decided if I'm going to do those, but I am going to shoot off the one gallon. But while I was thinking about that, so this is what the charge looks like after you're done. We shot this off. Um, this was from the other day that I've got video of. Um, there's all your electrical tape. Obviously, it blew out. There's your E-match. So what you do with these is... So you won't be able, you can't see down in there probably. Let's take this outside maybe. I can get enough lighting. The sun's out. Okay. If you can see in there, I just welded a bolt into mine. A lot of them have a chain link on the bottom of them. And it's cut open so it makes a C. It'll make a C kind of like this and they weld it to the bottom. So what you have to do is you use your E-match as a tether. Okay, I use my E-match as a tether and you put this down in the bottom, okay? And then you wrap, I wrap my wire around my hook, my hooking device. And then what you're gonna do is as this, as this is sitting on the bottom of the tank, as I have it sitting on the bottom of the tank, I need to watch how I phrase this. Um, the way I do it is this is sitting at the bottom. I fill it up and I cover the charge with water. And then after that, you fill the rest of it up with gasoline up. I mean, you don't leave very much, uh, maybe an inch at the top of it. So anyways, I figured I would show you, um, what these are, 
doing inside the tube before I show you the fire bowls. So anyways, you guys be safe. Enjoy your 4th of July. And uh, I'm glad you stuck around to watch my preparation for my gasoline fire bowls. Thanks. It's okay. To fire. Huh? I said this is yours to fire. Mine to fire? Well, I'm videoing. Oh, you're videoing? Watching on the porch, watching. Here's the controller. Uh, we're going to set number one off. Go ahead and set it off. Oh. All right, that'll be fun. That was only one gallon? One gallon. Hmm. Just wait. Oh, too bad you're not underneath it. That's kind of cool. Even though at today's gas prices, that just cost with the the black powder and everything, that costs like ten dollars to make a big fireball. Sweet. <laughs> All right. Uh, two. Oh. That's pretty cool. And we don't even have diesel fuel in that. You put it's diesel fuel in it, and it makes more smoke. Ooh, a tor sideways tornado. That's much better. That's a sideways tornado. All right, now for the thing that might not work. You feed this to goats. We put, that's the one with the fuse. <laughs> I'm very unimpressed. <laughs> what? <laughs> you want the other one? I mean, I guess so. I mean, do you think that was all black powder? Or do you think yes. some of that was the creamer? It was the black powder. So the creamer or the stuff didn't do anything. Well, that was disappointing. Um, well, we could put black powder in the little things and it'd make it amazing. Goat stuff didn't work. All right, maybe we'll have to research and redo it. All right, now we just set up the two and a half gallon one. Oh yeah. Ready, Mama? Sure. All right, hit it. It's almost ready. Hmm? So it's almost ready. I always leave it on channel one. What are you doing over there? Trying to get a green light. There we go. I just took a minute. You ready? Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Man, you need to do those during the day. Because you won't even see that at night. It'll blend in all the smoke that's already in the air. That's pretty cool. Look at that thing roll. It's like a sideways tornado. Like all the way around it. Huh? Wow, David's probably over there like, what on earth? What? There's a UFO <laughs> flying over my land. I mean, everybody's probably like, what is that? Holy cow, it lasts forever. <laughs> oh my God. People that are clueless, I just hope somebody's watching right now. That is lasting forever. Like David is over at his land right now. He's probably like, what is this? Holy cow. Down there, driving down the main road. And they're like, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's almost gone. All right. Well, if you guys like that, we need to, when we went down to look at the Cremoras, they actually went off, we think. They just need to be bigger. But I'm probably not going to do those because it'd take about three pounds of milk replacer. And it's like 25 bucks for four pounds. It's cheaper to do the gas ones. So we'll do the gas ones. And if you guys like it, you need to hang out and watch from a video for the 4th of July because we video it. We'll see you later. Thanks. All right, we're checking to make sure you got, you got it. Yeah, got a green light. Green light. Green light, go. Are you gonna push it for the fans? All right, we decided to do another two and a half gallon. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, the 
Ben's pushing that one. All I know is somebody wrapped that charge really nice. <laughs> That was weird. That was different than the last one. I mean, that gasoline's been in there for a week and that other stuff was fresh to, no, that's fresh today. It was all bought at the same time. It looks like we have a grass fire or something. Okay. Definitely. Yep. Maybe. We're gonna go put that out. But uh, there you go. We're ready for the fourth. Check out my 4th of July video of me setting fireworks off with the uh, Cobra. All right, guys. Well, what we did, those little Cremora pots, they just sucked. So we made us a little, what was it, a half gallon? Mm -hmm. We made us a half gallon pot. So got the Cobra hooked up. See what this little guy does. Dude, that was good. For a half gallon? That was actually good. Oh, boy. That's right. I'll get it. There you go, guys. All right, so this is what happens when you have scrap pipe and uh, a welder and some more black powder and some more gasoline. You make a, a really tall, thin tube. If it's really cool, we're going to call this the bazooka because you carry it on your shoulder out there, and it looks like a freaking bazooka. So can you record? You're going to record yours? Mm -hmm. All right, uh, hit it. <laughs> oh my god Ooh, that was better that was that even <laughs> that was awesome oh my god all right um all right i guess we might just put that in production that might be the bazooka <laughs> so anyways that's pretty cool